Alrighty then, it's time for an Aatrox game, and this is top lane since jungle really, really sucks. Which one? And I do mean that. Jungle Aatrox is crap. And, the re and a lot of people keep asking me, what about jungle Aatrox? So what about Sated Devourer? For starters, Sated Devourer on uh, Aatrox has some really weird interaction. I think it's bugged, and Ian Wright has acknowledged that. Second, jungle Aatrox in this new season is actually rather slow, and sustain isn't strong until two or three ranks in, so <clears throat> he gets pretty fucked up. Plus, it, he's really slow as a as a, like mobility wise too. I know he's got his Q, but that's not exactly a, an ability you can use just willy nilly. So he tends to not be able to do make a lot of plays from the jungle, except on champions with low mobility. Like you go in with your Q, and if it misses or it just fails because it doesn't really have the best range or the best quote-unquote cast time, you, you're a sitting duck to the enemy jungler or something. Anyways, I don't get what the hell this dude tried to do here. He just spat me out in front and I stabbed him once in the face. Now, in this matchup, I definitely excel in, because Tom is a type of champion that's just a fat ball of shit. He's just nothing but health, health, and health. So he really doesn't fight. Like, he'll harass you, he'll lick your dick a few times, but he won't really kill you. So I figured Aatrox would make sense. I'll just farm forever and, you know, not worry about it. I, there was a risk that it might be Jungle Town, but even then it probably wouldn't be too much of a threat. So I went with Aatrox and I'm going with this W build. Uh, there's two builds with Aatrox. One where you take E so you can push the wave and you can farm and poke at the enemy. And the other one is a w, where you max out W quickly or at least put three points into it. So your sustain can start making sense and you can start being, you know, this kind of sustain machine. It, I'm not there yet, and I don't have any life steal yet, so I'm just slowly, you know, being pushed away by the time. Thankfully, my teleport is up, so if after I farm a little bit more, I'll go home, and then my sustain will kick in. He'll never be able to do any damage to me. He's just, he's a piddly fighter, right? Again, he's just really fat and really hard to kill, and that's how he gets away with certain matchups in top lane. Anyways, runes and masteries are attack damage red, attack damage quince, uh, magic resistance blues with some cooldown reduction blues, and attack damage quince. I think I said that. Ar well, either way, armor yellow and 2190 masteries. Now, well, the reason why Aatrox is probably one of Riot's most hypocritical and biggest mistakes is because he was released when the, the meta was very split push heavy. You had super sustained top laners, and all they would do is split push all day. I believe it was stuff like uh, Irelia and Renekton and some other champions. I think Kennen was in, in there too. He didn't have the sustain, but he just kind of had that whole pokiness power. All they would do is push all day, not die, and it would be frustrating. They didn't even take teleport either. It was Ignite. So it, like they would get to the point where you had to dedicate two or three people to try to stop them. And if you couldn't do that, uh, they would just push your lane. And if you did do it, if you forced to, you know... If you t sent two people top lane, his teammates would crush you. And that's actually what's happening in this game. Nocturne is such a great champion alongside Aatrox, although there are other choices that are also pretty great. It's because uh, Nocturne is able to cover a large amount of the map, and if you sort of maintain the enemy's focus top lane, or at least keep them preoccupied top lane, Nocturne can just focus on mid and bottom lane, and, have, and with his ultimate cover both, both of them near at the same time. So Nocturne is constantly pressuring mid and bottom lane while I'm able just to split push top without much worry. The enemy Evelyn can't come up top lane anymore because it's kind of pointless. I'll either kill her or just run away. I'm too dangerous at this point. Here she goes mid and I go, as soon as I hit home, I teleport after I see Yasuo try to dump my teammates. So I manage to make it in, I, use, I pop my ghost, I use my Q and I manage to pick up the Yasuo before any CC befalls me. And then we kill off the Evelyn just as easily. Now... Like I was saying, Aatrox came out at a time of super sustain. It's like Riot was having problems with sustain, and they were even saying they were going to nerf it, they were going to fix it because it's unhealthy to the game, and they released Aatrox anyways. It was like a lot of people were pretty pissed off at that. Aatrox didn't make an immediate impact, though. There was this like problem of trying to find out where he fits. People were like, oh, mid lane, mid jungle, top lane, and then he just kept getting bullied out. You know, people figured out the sweet spot. Either go three Doran's Blades or go uh, rush on Randuin's Omen and then you just can't die. Randuin's Omen then into uh, a sub later the Ruined King or Tiamat and stuff. It just 
just don't die. Keep pushing forever. And he started making a huge impact and became so frustrating to deal with. So Riot nerfed the hell out of his sustain and punished anyone who liked Aatrox. So he fell out of the he fell out of the of favor for quite a long time, and he's still technically out of favor. He's one of those champions that Riot will not allow to be good in his current state, which is why they announced that they're actually thinking of a way to rework him. They have no plan, no definite plan yet, but he's in their radar. Because I mean, come on, he he's a really janky champion. It's like uh, his Q isn't an ability you want to use in fights because it can easily get you killed. And if you're fighting someone, it will disrupt your flow of auto attacks, which is kind of your main source of damage. And his E is, is an okay ability to use, but it's a really, really difficult one to uh, you know use without it being dodged or something. If you're in melee range, you might as well just stab your opponent uh, anyways. And if you're poking, it's, it's a really odd shape, and it's really easy to dodge when you're chasing people. And then your ultimate just sort of slows you down, although it does give you range. So... He's kind of a janky champion in that sense. I do love his ultimate though. It's one of my favorite uh, steroids for a melee fighter. So uh, I, I'll give it that much. And his W ability is okay though. I, I feel it's kind of bleh. it's just oh, it's just okay. Anyways, Aatrox is getting a rework, and I, I don't suggest recommend him in the jungle. Top lane, he's only good if you got an opponent that's not gonna bother to murder you. Like if you're fighting against, I, I know it sounds weird. Nasus, Aatrox is fine. Yeah, his wither can can destroy you, but like you're gonna just be trying to push the lane. He can't out sustain you, and he can't really. Uh, well, he can out sustain you, but he's not really gonna try to murder you. So it just kind of depends on the rest of the lineup. It's just any any champion that's not gonna do anything is good, and it's, it also really really helps out that your team can kind of hold their own by themselves. You can see the enemy team; they they don't really have a cohesive unit. Like they have an all engage with the with the Yasuo, but they have these sort of disengaging champions, as in Tom and uh, Thresh, and it's just not all not there. So my team, which seems to have a more cohesive team fighting composition, you know, picking people off, trapping them, and splitting the enemy team apart, is just gonna win fights even when I'm not there. So because of that, I'm able to split push like a beast. You saw me; I just got an inhibitor tower. And like any any lane I go to, I'll grind it down. I, any one of them who comes to fight me will die one v one. So it's just if they're already having problems four v five, imagine four v four, or imagine four v three, where they might have to send two people to try to stop me. This is Aatrox's strength, and pretty much like I already said, why he's not going to be ever in his current state allowed to be a champion again. So he's one of those champions that's purposely bad. Now watch this. This fight is rather disgraceful. The enemy team is not able to engage on this. They're just hanging back and letting Tom take free damage. Thresh goes in, but there's absolutely no follow-up. There's They're scattered, so Thresh dies for free. Yasuo takes damage for free, so he's easily picked off right then and there. Once those two die, Nocturne is able to go against the Lucian with basically no you know, a uh, threat to himself. Lucian does get away, but the rest of his team dies in a very inglorious way. None of my teammates died. And at the same time, they lose Dragon and they lose an inhibitor. In, in like the best case scenario for the enemy team, all they would have lost was an inhibitor in there and picked off about as many kills as they lost. So that was such a bad fight because they didn't go in. Of course, it helped out that the uh, Anivia was able to split up the enemy team, but shit, that was bad. Now watch this team fight here. My team is going to attack Tom and sort of uh, Nivy is going to focus some of her abilities on him, which is kind of a waste. But for some reason, the Graves is just going to completely stand still. Watch this. And then get pulled in. But as soon as he gets pulled and Thresh closes the gap, I teleport in. The enemy team is split up by Jana's Monsoon, and this is perfect. As soon as I teleport in, I cut through the Tom to pieces. Then I jump on the Evelyn and tear her to shreds, and then I stab Yasuo in his ass, and then Thresh is the last one to live, and then dies. So, the enemy team just got destroyed. It was a bloodbath. And then Lucian is hanging around, and he just kind of stood in the wrong place. He should have just kind of bailed this tower. So he gets killed pretty much with no real effort aside from Nocturne's ultimate. And from then on, the enemy team is pretty much just going to lose. There's no way they can return from this. And like I said earlier, you know, Aatrox is a champion that can't exist in his current form. Riot already said they're looking for a rework on him. So if you got any ideas as to how you, you personally would rework him or what Riot could probably do, I encourage you to write comments in a... Uh, well, 
write a write your opinions and thoughts in the comments below. Remember, I, I still don't understand that Atrox was released during a time where it was very toxic. I mean, split pushing and super sustain was very toxic. Riot didn't seem to learn from this because they released Callista during the mobility era. You know, right now we've got nothing but mobility champions, though Juggernauts are kind of making a big splash. And they just kind of exacerbated the problem, and just like they did with Atrox before. But of course, at least I'm okay, I'm kind of happy they've acknowledged this, and they're gonna try to tweak things and work things out. Which is, you know, what the Atrox rework it that's apparently coming at some point, and the Juggernauts being a whole nother, you know, mindset or ideology in terms of balancing champions. Here we kind of only are dying here and there because we're getting very greedy. There's no way the enemy team can stop us. I'm hyper fed and farmed. Nocturne is super super fed. He can pretty much kill anybody on the enemy team by himself. And Navia's walls have been perfect and really strong. And Graves is also pretty huge. And the John has pretty much been on point with her uh, monsoons and fights. So it's just a matter of time. Like I said, Jungle Aatrox, I do not recommend him. Jungle Aatrox is really really weak. Uh, lane Aatrox, he only pretty much works against uh, team comps that are not going to stomp you in lane or that they're, they're going to let you just split push and hopefully with teammates that can handle themselves in their lane so uh, you're not just kind of uh, farming top lane while your teammates get destroyed or, uh, or preferably when you have a jungle teammate that's able to apply pressure to your lane to the enemy lane or just pretty much keep the enemy team occupied while you go do your own thing. So yeah, we pretty much win, and it was a the enemy team wasn't necessarily bad, except in those team fights, it just didn't have a cohesive unit, and they got destroyed, and we were we were cohesive. So hooray for Aatrox and friends.